Hello, 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 and happy hump day. How y'all doing out there? This is uh, Poncho Thon number 64, y'all. Hope everybody's doing good out there, y'all. We are, what are we doing? We're in the midst of uh, trying to arrange a pretty grueling schedule for the latter summer, fall, few winter uh, time period. So I'm trying to get a lot of things lined up. We got a, a, a Poncho retrospective exhibition planned for the end of the year, um, probably around November, December. So I'm really working on that. I have a, another upcoming exhibition at the Children's uh, National Children's Hospital in DC, uh, showing some pieces I created while I was in Africa. So I've been very, very busy trying to get paperwork stuff out the way. Hello, Ms. Deborah Richardson, how are you? Hello, Ms. Wanda Leggins. Happy hump day to both of you all. Uh, we've also been challenged with trying to get this whole internet thing, the internet thing done. Um, we've been having some um, signal issues, so we're trying to resolve that. We've been doing tests all week to try to make sure we can uh, navigate around that. Uh, from what I see, our signal is going up and down, so hopefully we will stay clear for most of the show. Uh, how y'all doing out there? Tell me where you're at and where you're from, and we will put you up on the screen. But yeah, we are celebrating our 37th year in the art business, and in case you did not know, we are currently, I have had a real exciting year so far. I uh, went to Africa earlier this year, spent about five weeks there, and um, I am also working on currently my um, 40th retrospective book, and so that's going to be coming out probably... Um, it's going to be, it's actually the printing is completed. Now we're having it bound and it should be coming back to the U.S. probably around June. So we're really excited about that. Uh, we just opened up uh, the pre-orders. If you want to go to my website at LarryPunchoBrown.net, you can go ahead and reserve your copy now. We are looking forward to the release of this book. It's very exciting. I got the um, first prototype here. Uh, last week, and it looks beautiful. So how y'all doing out there, y'all? Give me a couple of nods out there. Um, we're going to get ready to give you the house rules, y'all. So here we go. You can place the item number in the word soul. Each piece we show in the show will have an item number associated with it. You can just take that item number in the word soul, and you can paste it in, in the bottom of the Art of Poncho, right underneath for the live feed. And you can paste it on um, Larry Poncho Brown, my personal page and my business page. We're also on uh, YouTube. So you can also place them there. But what I want to advise you, if you are pasting anything in YouTube, make sure you send me your email address and your shipping address, which is part of our house rules anyway. But uh, you want to inbox us your email address and shipping address at the Art of Poncho, just so we can be sure that we can track you down to get your order to you. Uh, sometimes people will place the orders and they'll make their selections, but they won't send us our connective information, which helps us get it to you. So, yes. So the items, a number and the word soul in the comment stream, and we will, um, hey, send you a PayPal invoice for your selections. Also, one of the house rules is our ship flat rate shipping is $15. Yes, we fought it for a while. Had to go through the increase of all the things that's happening with shipping, UPS and all that. So um, if you order two different types of items, say like a book and like a, a print, uh, that will go in two different packages. But if you order several prints, they will go in the same package. If it's something that's framed, however, sometimes we may have an additional frame fee just for that piece because we have originals that we show at the end of the show. So those are pretty much the house rules. And remember now, we can also accept cash apps. So if you decide you see something you want, Make sure you add that shipping in there, $15, but we can also accept your payment and, and, uh, um, and um, cash app. Sometimes people say, no, I don't like past PayPal. Well, we understand it. You're, we're, you're still going to receive a invoice from us through PayPal, but you can pay any way you want. And if you decide you want to send your, your stuff through cash app, wait until you receive your invoice from first before you do that. If you're new to the show, y'all, just make sure that you take the time to send us your shipping information so that's pretty much the house rules y'all um y'all kind of quiet out there it's got a nice little group of people in the house how's everybody out there doing let me know what state you're from 
And we're going to get ready to get this whole thing started, y'all. So what are you drinking, y'all? You know, I don't know what to say. My cup is empty today. I was so busy working here. Hey, thank you so much, Mr. Lyle. Nice to see you, man. Um, been in here grinding most of the day, so I didn't stop and get myself a beverage. No ginger beer, no Izzy's, no pineapple juice, nothing. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling a little parched, y'all. What are y'all drinking out there? How you doing, Ms. Johnson? Thank you for checking in. I appreciate that. I'd like to know that y'all out there, we are striving to make the show a little more interactive than we've done in the past. So we are constantly looking at the feed to see who's responding. And if you got something you want to say, please be nice. Uh, go ahead and put it up there if you got something you're interested in seeing on the show. Mango margarita. See, that's what I need. I don't have anything like that, y'all. I am simply running on air. I don't even have water. What is wrong with me? Uh, hey, what's happening, Miss Laura Benson? Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Lyle. See, my man's always drinking margaritas. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. He must have an intravenous bag drip with margaritas happening, but I ain't hating, brother. I'm just mad because I don't have nothing here. Hey, coffee. Oh, that's a nice conservative little drink for seven o'clock in the evening, but you must be getting ready to work late. That's another artist right there, one of my mentees, and she's working all the time, so more likely that coffee is for a joke. How y'all doing out there? Let me know because we're getting ready to get this whole party started, y'all. Um, what else do I have? Whatever else I have is going on, I'll let you know as we go within the show. We're about to get this party started, y'all. Here we go. Item number one. You know, we normally start off with smaller items, we get to larger items. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> hey, what can I say? I got caught today without it, y'all. So I gotta go without it. Here you go. We're getting ready to get this party started, y'all. Item number one. Item number one happens to be a piece that um, uh, actually Annie Lee published these pieces for me years ago, years ago. These are small canvas pieces. This one right here measures eight and a half by 11. It normally sells for about $25, but today on Punch of Thunder number 64, you can have that piece for just $10. It comes signed eight by 10 if you like that piece. Just put item number one and sold, and that piece will be coming your way. This piece right here is uh, significant because back in the day when artists were really doing a lot of travel, we were confronted with many people that were bootlegging art of African-American artist works. So what we did was uh, Annie Lee decided to uh, get together with a bunch of artists. We all submitted images to her to help her create some images that will combat the companies that were producing that work. I think we made a little that I think it was more of a message of solidarity with us when we did this. I have about three pieces that uh, are I still have in inventory. So that's what this piece is. Item number one, EIWO is the title. Normally sells for $25. Today you can have it for $10. Just item number one and sold. And that piece will be coming your way. Oh, yeah, another one of our popular open edition pieces. We've got a little jazz scene going on here. This one is entitled Jazz on Oak Island Avenue. This piece right here was actually done for all of my Philly folks out there. I know I got at least one on the screen. Um, this was done for the West Oak Lane Jazz and Art Festival as the official poster one year. We have several of those pieces left in inventory. So, yes, if you like this piece, it's entitled Jazz on Oak Island Avenue. It normally sells for $40 today. You can get that piece for just $25. That's right. It measures 17 by 22 and a half inches. If you like that piece, just put item number two and the word sold. And that piece will be coming your way. Item number three. Another one of our popular open edition pieces. This piece right here was actually created uh, for the Umoja Jazz Festival in Pittsburgh many, many years ago. Ended up being a very, very popular piece. We have a Sankofa Dance Company has used this piece for fundraising. But, you know, that's right. You know, I knew somebody in the files was going to come up in here. There you go, Miss Leggins. Yeah, y'all, this piece right here is a popular piece. It, the theme is about, um, you know, you see a grillo. There's a mask hidden in there. There's a drummer and there's a dancer all coming together in unison. 
very, very popular piece. I wish I still had the original to this piece. This piece right here um, is entitled To the Beat of the Drum. It normally sells for $40. Today on Poncho Thought number 64, you can have this piece To the Beat of the Drum for just $25. That's right, y'all. $25. And that piece will be coming your way. <laughs> It's springtime, y'all. Yes, it is springtime. And we have pulled out the t-shirts. This is one of the ones we created the last year or we released last year, later, later part of last year. So many people have not seen it. This is your chance to get one of our retro tees. If you want to know, Puncher, what is a retro tee? We did some silk screen t-shirts um, back in the early 90s of a piece called Black is Black and another piece we have called Embrace. Those pieces were very, very, very popular. And to this day, some people still have those pieces. That's right. So this is what's up. Um, normally, this piece sells for $50. This, now, I, I know y'all going to be mad at me. All of my folks that are mediums, I'm sorry, y'all. Don't fuss at me. This piece right here is only comes in large XL, 2XL, and 3XL. And just because you're on a large side, doesn't mean we charge you more, y'all. This is item number four, the Surrender Retro T in black. That's right, y'all. If you would like the Surrender Retro T, just put item number four and sold. And please put your size number with that shirt. It normally sells for $50 today on Poncho Dawn number 64. You can get that shirt for $40 and be in time for the summertime. That's right, y'all. Item number four and sold. And that piece will be coming your way. Hey, y'all, we got a couple more shout outs in the house, y'all. We got, uh, oh, hey, Kavivia Jungle says several people have their prints on their walls from this fundraiser. That's right. We uh, did a fundraiser with uh, To the Beat of the Drum with her and other dance organizations. So it's nice to see that people still are supporting each other's organizations. Hey, what's up, Mr. Newberry? Thank you so much. Another West Philly in the house. Thank you, everybody. Thanks for, thanks for tuning in. We appreciate you. Hey, y'all, take some time and share this show on your page. Share this show with your friends. Don't sh uh, share this opportunity so folks can have a little fun just like you having fun. And uh, I, we will appreciate it. That's what we do. Got to pass the word around. You know what I'm saying? Item number four again, y'all is the retro t surrender if you like that piece just put item number 50 i mean item number four and sold and it will be yours for 40 dollars normally 50 dollars. it comes in a large uh, xl a 2xl and a 3xl and if you want the largest please put the size beside your entry if you don't i'm just going to send you like a, a 3x <laughs> Item number four and sold, and that piece will be coming your way. Hey, thank you so much for the compliments. So, you know, I've been trying to up my my eye my eyeglass game, y'all. What you think of my eyeglasses, y'all? What you think? Huh? Yeah, thank you so much, Mr. Lyle, for your compliments on my glasses. Yes. So, what's next, y'all? How y'all doing out there? What is going on on this crazy hump day? We got about 30 people in the room, so make some rooms. Uh, spread the word, let folks know what's happening so we can keep you abreast of what's going on. For those of you that are tuning into the show, these are the house rules. That's right, y'all. Item number five, we are moving to a different section of the show. You know, the last couple of uh, shows, we have been um, selling artist proofs. Poncho, what is an artist proof? Well, you know, 
typically when a limited edition is released, the artist gets a selection of prints, okay? We call those artist proofs. Typically 10 to 50% of an edition is reserved for the artist. In addition to the signed and numbered edition, the artist usually selects a specified number of inventory for either their personal use. So yes, they used to be, like I have editions that might be um, 850 in the edition, but the artist proof edition might be 100, okay? Uh, by art market standards, artist proofs generally rank higher than signing numbers. So what that means is they cost a little more. So where my, some people's uh, artist proofs cost double what the signing number costs. In my case, mine are an additional $100 for each level. So for those of you that are going, that's what it's all about. I am, yes, I am coordinating. That's that old uh, 1960s vibe I'm working with. But yeah, y'all, that is the definition of an artist proof. Hopefully that helps you out. Item number five is a piece we call Soul Survivors, the Artist Proof. There's only 100 of these in the edition. They usually sell for uh, $225, y'all. But today on Punch and Thunder number 64, you get item number five for just $125. All of these pieces come with a certificate of authenticity. That's a mouthful. If you like this print, just put item number five and it will be yours for $125, normally $225. It measures 22 by 28 and comes with a certificate of authenticity. If you like that piece, you want to add that to your collection because that's what all of this is, y'all, is you enhancing your collection. Just put item number five and sold and sold survivors will be yours for just $125, normally $225 on poncho thorn number 64. item number six this piece is entitled sowing seeds for a lifetime harvest it was actually done for an organization called seed that does um programming for families with regard to education and housing uh they commissioned me to do this piece for them quite a few years ago and this is a limited edition this is the artist proof edition of this piece this piece, again, is sowing seeds for a lifetime harvest. You see a mother uh, with two students, a, a little boy and a, and a girl. You also see a father in the background. You also see an elder in the background, too. We try to do a nice little commentary. You see the housing in the background. Uh, that's, this organization is in Riverside, Maryland. This is a wonderful commission. They even purchased the original to it. But this is item number six, sowing seeds for a lifetime harvest. If you like this piece, it normally sells for $200 for the artist proof today. And there's only 100 in the edition. You get uh, this print today on Punch It number 64 for just $100. If you like this piece, just put item number six and sold. And that piece will be coming your way and add it to your collection. Hey, y'all, give me some shouts out, Dave. We got a lot of people in the room. Anybody got anything you want to say, please? Post it on the comment stream, and I will put you on the screen. Any questions you got about any pieces that we're showing on the show, feel free to send us any comments. We are trying to make this show a little bit more, uh, what's the right word? Interactive. That's right. So um, if you got questions, send them in. If you want to say hello, send them in. You want to comment on a piece, send it in. You want to place an order, send it in. You get the message. So item number six and sold and that piece will be coming your way and added to your collection the artist proof item number seven this piece is called sankofa spirit it was actually commissioned by morgan state university to assist with the visual arts department uh many many years ago this is a limited edition piece this is the artist proof of sankofa spirit it normally sells for $200, but today on Poncho Thon number 64, you can get this piece for just $100 and you get a certificate of authenticity with it. It also, y'all, the size, 22 by 28 inches. Well, another commission. I do a lot of commission works for nonprofit organizations. If you ever want to see um, a list of those pieces, go to RaisingTheArtsWithAnS.com. And on that website, it shows you all of the pieces we have done for organizations. I've probably done 70 or so images for different organizations. Item number seven, if you like that piece, just item number seven and sold 
and that piece will be coming your way and added your, to your collection with a certificate of authenticity. Yes, y'all, these are some of the open editions we have available. So I am going to prepare you for the next phase of images that are going to be declays. <laughs> Item number eight is a piece we call Dark and Lovely, y'all. Um, what can I say about Dark and Lovely? I did a whole series of black and white pieces. And those pieces were sensuality pieces. They had some Adinko symbols hiding in the background. I love the classical black and white pieces. And these are small, intimate pieces. Uh, these are all G. Clay prints. Uh, G clay print is bas basically a digitally plotted piece that's printed on watercolor paper or canvas. Uh, we have several different styles and sizes of those prints. This section of the show are mostly G clay prints. This piece again is titled Dark and Lovely. It measures 12 by 15 inches. It normally sells for $200. It is a 62 edition. Today, punch is on number 64. You can have this piece for just $100 comes with a certificate of authenticity. If you got a nice little black and white little swag thing going on in your place, this might be a wonderful because you like collecting nudes. You know, back in the 1990s, I could not sell a nude. Back in the 80s, nobody even asked for a nude. But by around the end of 99, beginning of the 2000, everybody was looking for nudes and they became very, very popular um, subjects for us to create. When I say us, I mean the artists all, we all kind of had to be on the pulse of what people like and don't like. And um, so this piece, Dark and Lovely, is an example of us pressing the boundaries a little bit, item number eight. If you like that piece, just put item number eight and sold. And Dark and Lovely, the G. Clay, will be coming your way. For just $100, y'all. Item number nine is a wonderful piece. You know, I like celebrating black any way I can. Even if I don't have it myself, no, I'm just joking. Black love is hard to find in the 21st century, y'all. It's hard to keep, so you gotta, I guess you just gotta have an open heart. I'm trying to have an open heart, y'all. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. That's right. Item number nine is a piece called Huggable. That's right, y'all. You can feel it, can't you? Huggable is a nice little small piece if you got that small little intimate space in your home. The piece right here also sells for $200. It is also a 62 edition. Um, measures 15 by 12 inches. And, you know, those pieces are nice medium-sized pieces. By the time you add three inches of mat and another one to two inches of frame, or three inches of frame, depending on your taste, you can have yourself a really wonderful piece. Huggable, that's right, y'all. This is a, a limited edition G. Clay that sells for $200 today on Punch of Thon number 64. You can have Huggable for just $100, y'all. If you like that piece, just put Item number nine and sold, and that piece will be coming your way. Item number 10, the last of our small G clays. These are, we had three different sizes in G clays, and this is along our smaller size. These are for intimate little spaces on the wall. All of these pieces are 62 in addition, so they're very small additions. Item number 10. It's a piece we call Wrapped Crown. Wrapped Crown. That's right, y'all. Um, I did a whole series of pieces um, that were part of wearable art. So this piece right here actually has been done, licensed to some companies as, uh, you know, floor mats and it's been on, on ponchos and some other items like that. Item number 10 is a Wrapped Crown. No, the size is 12 by 15 inches. It normally uh, sells for $200, but today on Poncho Thon number 64, you can have this piece for just $100. This is a wrapped crown if you like that piece. Go ahead, snag it for yourself. Treat yourself a little bit. How y'all doing out there? Y'all got some other uh, comments? Y'all kind of quiet on a Wednesday on a hump day. Why am I craving, um, I'm craving like pepperoni pizza. I don't know what's wrong with me. That That's not something that runs across my mind very often. Uh, but, you know, you know what they say sometimes when you're on Thursday, you get hungry. So um, I am like going solo today without much to drink. Item number 10, y'all. 
the last of our small G clays. If you like that piece, just put item number 10 and sold, and we will be uh, sending that piece your way so it can be added to your collection, y'all. <music> That's right, y'all. Buy Black Art. That's what we're trying to hype here, y'all. This this is the most exciting time to be an artist. I say that because of technology. Um, it's affordable now to do so many things from documenting your work to printing your work to reproducing your work to um, advertising your work to what items you decide to put artwork on. It's just a great time. And I, I think it's wonderful to see what artists are doing to take advantage of this type of thing. Hey, what's happening, Garvey Sills? Thank you so much for checking in, brother. What's been happening with you? Um, hey, we got another person here, Miss Maddie Renee. Yes, how you doing, Miss Renee? Thank you so much for checking in. How you been? Haven't seen you in a good little minute. What a pleasure. Hey, y'all. Uh, so that's right, y'all. Why don't y'all just chime in? I'm sure y'all sitting out there. Y'all out there. I'm looking at the numbers. Y'all got it's about 40 of y'all out there looking at the show. I hope y'all sharing everything, y'all. That's right. Item number 11 is a piece. This is a different part of the show where we show some of our, I call these our larger G clays. Item number 11 is a piece. Y'all don't see much of my kind of abstracts, non-figurative work. This is a very, very popular piece called Smooth Jazz number five. Um, it's a, it's, it's a nice, if you need to have a nice little flair, need something a little looser in your collection, in your repertoire, let me know because I have many pieces. We're going to be trying to show you more of these pieces as uh, the year progresses. You know, we're going to be airing the show uh, through uh, the rest of the year. Normally, if I'm going to take a break, I'm going to let you know ahead of time when we do take a break. These shows will be running every Wednesday, 7 o'clock, so pass the word around. That's right, y'all. Item number 11, again, is a piece called Smooth Jazz number 5. It measures 24 by 30 inches. It's a G clay that sells normally for $400, y'all. But today on Poncho Thon number 64, you can have this piece, Smooth Jazz number 5, for just $200. This is a nice size piece. By the time you add some matte frame to this, whoo-hoo! Very, very, very nice, y'all. I, um encourage you to um, keep tuning into the show. I have a couple framers out there that I work with, and sometimes they offer framing specials. Uh, our partner, Davenport Framing, did a couple of um, projects with us in the past where uh, we had a flat rate framing. And some of y'all, I don't know who I mean, if you out there watching and you participated in one of those uh, and you got your piece framed by Davenport Framing, let me know. Let me know how it went. Because uh, we get ready to launch that again in a couple of weeks. But meanwhile, item number 11, if you like that piece, just put item number 11 and sold, and it will be yours for $200. Hey, Poncho, why are you doing uh, uh, these pieces for half price? Well, you know, Poncho Barn is one of those places you can come where we go in a warehouse, we pull out a few pieces, some things that have been seen, some things that haven't been seen in a while. And we are offering for sale at the wholesale rates. That means you can't find it at that price anywhere on the web. That's the importance of catching Poncho Don, because one day you're going to see something you've been waiting for, and you get a chance to get a special price on it. So this is item 11. Again, y'all, if you like that piece, just put item number 11. And Soul and Smooth Jazz number 5 will be yours for just $200. Thank you so much, Miss Wonder Leggings. I appreciate that. You know, sometimes we try to show you some things you haven't seen before. Hey, what's happening, Miss Antoinette Hamilton? Thank you for tuning in. Hey, thank you so much for sharing, 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 y'all. That's right. Share it on your page. Share it on your page. That's right. Let's double these numbers that we see on the screen. Item number 12. You know, back in the day, I did a whole series of these pieces, and, and, and mysteriously, all of them have sold. And I, sometimes I, I, I go through so many stages. You know, I'm a multidiscipline artist. When I say multidiscipline, I don't want it to sound so heavy. You got some artists who do one um, style repetitively, and you got artists who do multiple styles. I am considered a multiple style artist. So I may explore a particular look and work for a little bit, 
and then I may decide to move away and do some other things. And this piece right here is one of those phases I went through, you know, very Picasso West looking pieces. If you, this piece right here is entitled Been So Long, Been So Long. The original was done in um, oil pastel and acrylic on paper. This piece is a G clay. It uh, measures 24 by 30 inches. Been so long normally sells uh, for uh, $400. But today on Punchathon number 11, I mean, um, Punchathon, I'm going to say 64. Can y'all believe this is our 64th show? I can't believe it. I can't believe it. And, I, and I've been the one doing it. You know, we didn't know when we first started this, just prior to COVID, that this would become the medium that we use to connect with people. Because, you know, we used to be on the road. I had to load up my van, a couple hundred, a couple thousand pounds of artwork, panels, you know, uh, weights for the tent and all that kind of stuff. And then COVID shut us completely down. And to some degree, we're just beginning to get back to some sense of normalcy. But I think artists now are questioning, hey, I don't even know if I want to go back out there like that again. I know I'm one of them. I can't be by myself, y'all. Item number 12, uh, been so long. If you like that piece, it can be yours for just $200, normally $400. It is a 62 edition. It measures 24 by 30. And this piece can be yours for just $200. Item number 13. Hey, I just saw one of these online today. This piece right here, Heavy Burdens, this is a piece I did for the Wholeness Development Corporation in Atlanta, Georgia. They really are an organization that supports uh, the homeless veterans. And this piece was commissioned by them. And I sold this original quite a few years ago, but it's a very, very popular piece. I guess people uh, resonate with uh, the, the concept we have of materialism and, the, and how blessed we are and all those kind of things. This piece right here, heavy burdens item number 13 measures 24 by 30 normally sells for 300 dollars. that's right y'all 300 dollars. it, it uh, on punchathon number 64 is available to you for 150 dollars. this is only a 50 edition g clay print comes with a certificate of authenticity if you like this piece just put item number 13 and sold and this piece that's right, y'all. Heavy burdens. Think about that. This is a deep piece. If you like this piece, just put item number 13 and sold, and that piece will be coming your way. Item number 14. Isn't she beautiful? The name of this piece is Blooming Beauty. This is a very, um, you know, I did a whole series of pieces that were done in uh, graphite and acrylic wash. Some of them are graphite and watercolor. This one right here happens to be watercolor on watercolor paper. We reproduced and they turned out so beautiful. Item number 14 is Blooming Beauty. The G Clay normally sells for $400, measures 24 by 30 inches, y'all. This is another nice size piece. If you like this piece on Poncho Thumb 64, you can have this piece for just $200. Item number 14, if you like that piece, just put item number 14 and sold, and that piece will be added to your collection. Hey, look at that, y'all. Kenneth Gatewood's in the house. Thank you so much, Kenneth Gatewood. This is my brother from another mother. He actually, his birthday is the day before mine. He's my big brother. He's my big little brother. How's about that? Wow. Thank you so much for uh, your, you know, I like when people are tuned in. Thank you so much. You know, we're trying to dig into the vault pull out a couple of things you haven't seen. So thank you for um, participating. Hey, y'all, you know, the comment stream is wide open for you if you decide you've got something you want to say. Thank you so much. What's going on? Hey, what's happening, uh, Miss Criola Swift Macklin? She's tuned in again. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you. Hey, that's right. My brother, hey, you know, what can I say? He's out there. I know this man is probably in his studio working right now. Uh, Kenneth Gatewood is mad at me, y'all, and it's my fault. That's right. It's my fault. You know, the show, I try to give you the ins and outs. Uh, Kenneth Gatewood and I have been working on a collaboration, I don't know how many years now. 
you know, in our movement, collaboration is a very, very popular artists working together on pieces. I've gotten, I've done several with many artists. And Kenneth Gatewood gave me a watercolor piece that he is waiting for me to finish. And I'm hoping this is the year it's going to happen. <laughs> Look, look, look at that look. This is, he says he's been holding on to this for eight years, y'all. Eight years. That's right, y'all. That's how long it takes sometimes. I, I ain't going to tell him he's not even my record. My record is with uh, an artist by the name of Cynthia St. James. And you know who she is. She did the Waiting to Exhale um, book cover. Very colorful pieces. I've had her since 1996. So, <laughs> you know, this whole collaboration thing is more than a notion. Item number 14, y'all. I just thought I would fill you in on some of the stuff we have to deal with in this business. And if you like that piece, just put item number 14 in soul in this piece. Um, Blooming Beauty will be yours for just $200 on Poncho Thon number 64. Hey, y'all, take some time. Go ahead and share the show with your friends, y'all. Y'all, y'all got y'all got the Facebook pages open. Go ahead, share the show. Uh, thank you so much, Miss Jennifer Harris. You know, this woman right here is is my partner in crime, my bestie, my bestie on planet Earth. This is my son's godmother. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, I got a good support out there, y'all. So um, I'm glad y'all showing the love. If you got some comments, please send them to me. Uh, hey, y'all, what would you like to see me paint? That's a good question. I haven't asked that before. Or I can say, ask me a question that you've been always wanting to ask me. And as long as it's within the boundaries, I will try to answer your question. How's about that? We haven't had a question session on here before. So I'm going to give you some time to think about a real intelligent question. Intelligent, please, because I'm going to put it on the screen. If you got a question for me, just put um, put it in the comments screen so I can... See if I can inter uh, be a little more interactive on this show. Item number 14 and sold and blooming beauty will be coming your way. Item number 15. I don't think this piece has ever been shown on the Poncho Thon. This piece right here is a piece we call, um, it's actually called Shiro. Now, let me tell you uh, for another phenomenon. Um, wait a minute, we got a question, so I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, see if I can deal with this question from Kenneth Gatewood. When is the coming? All right, y'all. In case you didn't know, uh, I have been working on a, a painstakingly working on a book of my 40th year retrospective. So uh, we started designing it last year. It is going quite, quite well. Just finished printing. We just got our printed pages back last week. I have my first advanced copy given to me by the end of the month, and um, the book should be arriving overseas, y'all, because we printed this internationally, should be coming back in June. We also have just opened up, and thank you so much for that question, Kenneth Gatewood. We just opened up um, our pre-sale. So if you want to pre-order your book and get it at a decent rate, go to, to the LarryPunchoBrown.net website. And you, can, or you can reserve your book now. All right. So, yeah, the book is coming out in June. The retrospective exhibition is happening in the fall. So things are moving and grooving, y'all. Thank you so much for that question. Uh, what you got? Uh, how do I stay so upbeat? You know what, I Miss Reynolds? That's a good question because I don't really use drugs. <laughs> and I don't really use stimulants too much. I mean, I will relax every now and then, but I guess it might be just, um, I think it's just my spirit. You know, I try to keep myself upbeat uh, with all the things that's happening in the world and all the things that we go through in life. I try to look at, I try to stay positive. I was diagnosed with cancer four years ago. And so every day I get now is, um, it's just appreciated a little different. So, and that's the energy you're probably feeling for me. Thank you so much for that question. I know a lot of people probably wondering, well, how does dude stay on the run all the time? Because he's always doing stuff. I just like to be engaged. And also, uh, uh, I got a, a whole lot of support. So, um, yeah, give me a reason to wake up and, and keep going. Thank you so much for that question, y'all. Many, many original prints. You got it. We're going to have some many originals coming up. In the next, uh, really, we okay. I'll tell you, I've been trying to put together a uh, original show. 
And that's going to happen once a month. I was hoping to have one in March. If I do, you'll receive uh, a post on my Facebook page or uh, through email uh, for that. And on that show, we'll focus ex exclusively on originals. Might show 10, 15 originals on the show, uh, but we're going to play with that in addition to the Poncho Thon show. That show won't be a discounting show, but it'll give you a chance to see some things you don't normally get to see on the show. Thank you for that question. I love these questions. Thank you so much, Lau. Thank you so much, Aether Reynolds. Appreciate that question. Very, very good. Item number 15 is Shiro. I was about to explain that sometimes um, artists, like I don't care, I can't speak for the artists. I better speak for myself. I've had some pieces that I've, I've titled something and then it didn't resonate or uh, the print didn't sell. It didn't, you know, that, or people just kind of looked at it and it kept going. There have been several times, not that many, less than 10 out of thousands of pieces where I said, you know, I need to change the title of this piece. And this piece is one of them. Originally, this was titled Mama's Boy. <laughs> now, you know, you know, that's what I felt when I did it. You know, I was feeling the mother's love. I was feeling the mother's protection. I was feeling like, you know, that whole dynamic that happens to all the mother's mama's boys out there. But I don't think most mama's boys want to be called a mama's boy. So I decided maybe I need to change the title to Shiro. And amazingly, once we changed the title, people started to react to it. So item number 15, you know, as an example of one of those pieces, this one's entitled Shiro. Shiro measures 24 by 30 inches. It's a 62 edition. It normally sells for $400, but Punch of Thon 64, you can get this piece for just $200. If you like this piece, just put item number 15 and sold, and that piece will be coming your way. Hey! Hey, look, so Southern Mother's Love. Yeah, my, I, my, I see, this is another thing happens. Thank you so much, Lau. Imagine, I have to name all of my pieces uniquely. That means I can't repeat a title. And I and I ain't gonna lie to you. Out of thousands of pieces, sometimes I look and go, whoa, 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 I used that title before. But I'm very good with titles and I have not used a title twice. So Shiro, yes, I could have went Mother's Love, but Mother's Love got used years ago. So that's another challenge that artists have is we don't like to have a portfolio that's all untitled, untitled, untitled. No, mine, I do take time to think of my titles because I feel like titles are the gateway to you understanding the piece. You know, folks, if we don't understand stuff, we keep walking, you know? And so sometimes you look at art and, and when you go to the museums and you look at the titles, you look at the piece, you go, oh. In our market, our pieces, I like to think of a, a, a phrase or a, a title that will get the, 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 the viewer a closer view to what I intended when I finished. Now, does that mean that always works? No, it does not. But in this case, that's what's happening. Item number 15, if you like that piece, just put item number 15 and sold, and that piece will be coming your way and added to your collection for just 200 dollars i want to take this time to really uh give thanks and, and prayers to the people in louisiana lord knows louisiana is headed of tornadoes and storms um this piece right here was actually done around the time that katrina hit uh, louisiana it actually has a mate to it called after the storm one this is after the storm two did you play um I, it just has articles about um, the experience that happened down in um, in Louisiana. I think the same week August Wilson, the uh, author, had passed. So there might even be a reference to him in the background of these pieces. Uh, these black and white pieces are uh, kind of pieces that I use to make commentary on certain things. Uh, uh, the disparity that happened through uh, Hurricane Katrina and the people there. Uh, you know, we saw it nationally, how it was dealt with, but uh, sometimes that's how pieces resonate with me, you know. So this piece right here is entitled After Storm Number 2, G. Clay. Normally sells for $400. The size is 24 by 30. It is a 62 edition. If you like this piece, just put item number 16 and sold. And this piece, After the Storm 2, 
will be coming your way. Hey, I think we got a question, y'all. Uh, tell us a little more about being a mentor and how does your mentoring make you feel? Wow. That's a good question. Um, mentoring has always been an important part of what I do. Um, from the time I was in high school, my teachers made me come back to my alma mater, Carver, from the Merlin Institute, which was one of the top art schools in the country at the time, still is to this day. And they wanted me to really be an example and to really come back and tell the kids what to expect to motivate many of them to go to college. I also had a father that was a mentor, state of mind kind of person. He was a coach. He also got me into coaching. And so um, that's kind of uh, the, how things get started, you know? Uh, so I've always had to struggle in the art business. And I always felt like, you know, why do artists have to f uh, struggle like that? Why, why, why isn't there pe more people helping us? Why aren't more people telling us, um, laying a, a, some groundwork on what to do, how to become successful, what, what road to take? And so when I did uh, finally break into the art world, I found that the artist was so resourceful and then a lot of them shared information. There was a bunch of them that didn't share information, but for the most part, I'm not bitter because most people did. So mentoring is very, very important to me. I, I, it's a way I pay it forward. I do what I do. And, and my, I am an artist advocate more than I am an artist. <laughs> I've always um, felt a particular way about how artists, how artists are, are, are dealt with, governed and appreciated or not. And so uh, when I take on a mentee, because that's a real responsibility, when I when you take on a mentee, you have to be um, kind of a person that's going to help guide them, guide their path. And you have to adjust that mentoring with the artist, because all artists are different. They have different drive, different motivations, different levels of commitment. Um, I've had some mentees that I just stopped working with because they just, I, I knew that the kind of person I am wouldn't assist them. So yeah, um, being mentorship is very, very important. At any given time, I'm mentoring five to 10 artists at a time. And I have done so since I was 18 years old and I'm 60 this year. So it tells you there are literally hundreds and hundreds of artists that I have impacted in one way, shape or form. And so, uh, yes, I take mentoring very, very important. Thank you so much for asking that question. Because folks think I'm just in here painting my own pictures and that's all I do. They have no idea what um, all the other artists are out here and the kind of time they devote to what they do. And so thank you so much for that question. Item number, where are we at? 16. If you like this piece and you want to add this to your collection, simply put item number 16 and sold. And this piece, After the Storm 2, will be yours for just $200. Item number 17. Uh, you know, as I talk about my artist friends, I'm not just throwing names around because they're friends. You know, us artists are all a dysfunctional family of folks that love each other. Like we like cousins, you know. So we 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 share information, we love each other, we are and motivate each other, we inspire each other. This particular piece right here, I painted while I was uh, on a quarantine project with Mr. Charles Bibbs, and he did so much that he actually has it in his collection. This piece right here is called Waiting for Love. It is a G clay that measures 24 by 30 inches, normally sells for $400. It's a 62 edition. Today on Punch and Thon number 64, you can get this piece for just $200. This piece also was featured in my poncho artwear line, my poncho line. Uh, if you uh, ladies that have those ponchos have not seen it. So, yes, that's right, y'all. Item number 17. If you like that piece, just put item number 17 and sold in this piece called Wait for Love will be added to your collection. That's right, y'all. We are in the move and we are trying to show you pieces that we have not uh, shown much on the show. So maybe you guys can, um, you know, if you have ideas on pieces you want me to show in the future, let me know and I'll try to make sure you get a chance to see them.
Item number 18, y'all, is a piece we call Big D. I have a friend named Dwayne. Dwayne, I call him Big Dwayne. He's about six something tall. Big dude plays the flugelhorn. We did this piece many, many years ago. And I just did a, a re-release of this in G. Clay form. This piece is entitled Big D. It's a um, G. Clay on paper, watercolor paper. It measures 24 by 30 inches, y'all. Like something a little musical, a little mystical. This is the piece. Item number 18 and sold in that piece. B, no sells for $400 today on Punch of 64. You can get that piece for just $200. If you like that piece, just put item 18 and sold. And this piece will be added to your collection. Item number 19. Yeah, this is a little graphic for Poncho, but I love doing simplistic graphic images. This piece is item number 19. You like, I love classic black and white pieces. It's just, it's just something about them. They have so much energy, so much movement. And this is so, a, a significant piece, you know. I did a series of collages that were cut from other pieces that I created. And if you look at this piece, I have a really well-known piece called Surrender. We, we had the T-shirt on early in the show. And what I did was I took that piece, Surrender, and I cut it into another piece. And then I did a whole series of these abstract dancers using another print. That's how my creativity comes out. I just try all kinds of stuff. This is item number 19. The title of this piece is From the Darkness to the Light. It measures 24 by 30 inches. Normally sells for $400. Uh, today on Poncho Thon number 64. You can have this piece from the darkness to the light that you clay for just two hundred dollars that's right y'all we are getting into the homeland right now we are be approaching some originals towards the end of the show this is our last g clay offering for today's show and it is a big one this one right here item number 20 is a piece called waiting by the phone she is a, a very very large g clay as a matter of fact, she's 16 inches tall by 44 inches wide, perfect for over a sofa, a nice intimate space, that black and white uh, G -cl uh, um, collage style that I use on a lot of my pieces, did a whole series of reclining nudes in this fashion. Again, the title of this one is Waiting by the Phone, the G Clay. She sells for $400 normally today on Poncho Thon number 64. You can have her for just, that's right, y'all, $200. This comes with a certificate of authenticity. Um, all of these pieces that I'm showing you show are nice collectible pieces. Um, if you're looking for a, a wider piece, you're looking for a piece that's going to cover a, a nice horizontal area, this is that piece. That's right. Take a look at it. Isn't she something? That's right, y'all. Item number 20 and sold. And that piece will be coming your way. So you know, we had that part of the show, y'all, where I present you with a couple of original works. We're going to be doing a show pretty soon of all original works. So um, get ready for that presentation coming up. For all of you to think, hey, well, I wonder what it looks like when Ponchos get ready to ship that artwork. This is what it looks like when Ponchos about to ship that artwork. That's right. Time lapse. This is what it looks like, y'all, when we're in here trying to fill your orders. Yes, it is a production. We specialize in packing and shipping prints. That's what we do. And um, yeah, we take it very, very seriously. So here we go as we get ready to show you the last five pieces of the show, all original works. Here we go, the countdown. Thank you so much. She says she has a remark of that last piece and it's phenomenal. Thank you so much, y'all. Hello, Mr. Lyle. It is all about 1962, boy. <laughs> Item number 21, y'all. You know, from time to time, I go in the studio, I, I just look around. I see something that might be uh, 
advantageous. This is one of those pieces, y'all. Item number 22, I mean 21, is a mask. It's called the She Mask series. This is from one of my sculptures. Yes, y'all, I do sculpt. I do. It's one of the things I like to do. This piece is entitled She Mask number 10. It's actually made out of casting stone and then hand painted. She is about 10 inches by 6 inches. Very, very heavy, though. This is a nice, unique wall piece. You don't get to see these much. I don't even show my sculpture work much online, but I'm going to be doing more of that as the months progress. This piece right here is entitled She Mask number 10. If you like it, it normally sells for $4.50 today on Punchathon number 64. You can get She Mask number 10 for just $350. That's right, y'all. If you want this piece, item number 21 and sold, and this piece will be added to your collection. That's right, y'all. I'll have to look at timestamp, the first person to respond this original work. The only one on planet Earth will be added to your collection. Item number 22. This is a small canvas piece. It's a one inch can. It looks like a cube, like a like a, a good two, one and a half inch profile. It is uh, part of the textural type work that I've been doing the last two years or so. It's got a lot of uh, a textural areas. I did these abstract faces. Um, this piece is entitled Ayana. Ayana. That's right. Ayana, item number 22. Looking for a small original that is uh, a little different for Larry Poncho Brown. This is it. Item number 22 is already ready to hang. You need to do nothing to it. It's painted on the edges and everything. Item number 22 normally sells for $900. It's 10 by 10 inches. If you want this piece, we will add $20 to it for shipping because it does have a little weight to it. If you like this piece, item number 22, just put 22 and sold. And this piece, Ayana, the original, will be yours for just $450 for Poncho Thon number 64. That is a dealer rate. That's what galleries get these pieces at 50%. If you like that piece, just put item number 22 and sold, and that piece will be coming your way. Hey, that's my sister Jackie Brown. Thank you for tuning in. You see, she knows what's up with the, all the purple hearts. That's right, y'all. Item number 22. If you like that piece, just put 22 in. So remember, it's the only one on planet Earth. We probably will not be publishing this work. Item number 23. I do a lot of small originals. This is one I did uh, recently. It's a mixed media piece. has some textural errors. Also has some copper in it. The title of this piece is Kingdom Come. It is a celebration of our men feeling like kings this is a bad piece if you're not more a real thought-provoking piece this piece is also this piece is framed and measures 16 by 20 inches if you decide you like this piece or want this piece we have to add 40 dollars to the shipping because it has glass in it that's right y'all but the frame matches the color of his skin this piece is called kingdom come i'm going to do a whole royalty series this is one of those pieces this piece normally sells for $1,800, y'all. Today on Punch Out number 64, you can have Kingdom Come already framed, ready for the wall. You know, that's the way guys shop, ready for the wall. If you like that piece, just put item number 23 and sold, and you can have Kingdom Come, the original, framed for $900. Woo! First come, first serve. Yes, indeed. Thank you so much, Jackie. I appreciate that. If you like that piece, just put item number 23 and sold. We are three into our five originals for the show. Remember, I will be doing more originals in the weeks to come. Thank you so much, Ms. Tanya Bullock. She even took her hearts and matched the color of her skin, too. That's what I'm talking about, y'all. Thank you for chiming in and, and, and having some, you know, spending the evening with me. Because, you know, it's I'm in the studio by myself. I know it seems like I'm, I'm on TV, but I'm actually in my studio chilling. And so it's nice to be able to interact with you folks. Item number 25, I mean, 23, if you like that piece, just put item number 23 in soul, and that piece will be yours for just $900, normally $1,800 on Punchathon number 64. Item number 24 is another piece from my textural series. 
textures. I got all kinds of stuff. I got burlap, I got all kinds of embossed paper. I got twine. I got all kinds of stuff in here. This piece right here is entitled In the Name of the Creator. In the Name of the Creator, this piece is actually done on Masonite panel. It's ready to frame. It's already done and ready to go. It sells for $1,800. Normally, the size is an 11 by 16 inches. If you want this piece, you, we, you will have to add an additional $30 for us to pack it and ship it. It is ready to frame, ready to hang. That's right, y'all. Item number 24 normally sells for $1,800, but today on Poncho Thon number 64, you can have this piece, this original work, the only one on planet Earth, and this one also will not be published for just $900. That is deal rate if you like that piece. Just put item number 24 and sold, and that piece will be coming your way. And our last piece for the day, our last original offering, we went up in size. If you're ready, item number 25 is from my new series. That's right, words come to power. This piece is entitled Soul. Soul measures 22 and a half by 30 inches. This is on watercolor paper. This is one of my original works from my latest collage series. Um, yes, the lettering on there is 3D. It's actually wood that's been uh, uh, attached to it. The uh, photography in the face is done by me. I did my own photography and I combined all of those mediums together for this original. This piece is entitled Soul, simply Soul. Item number 25. If you like this piece, again, it measures 22 and a half by 30. It normally sells for $2,500, y'all. $2,500 today on Poncho Thon number 64. You can get this piece for just $1,000. That's right, y'all. That is our last piece of the day. If you like that piece, just put item number 25 and sold, and that piece will be coming to you, and it will be added to your collection. I'm so glad that you all took the time today to hang with me. I appreciate you. Um, if y'all got any closing remarks, well, thank you, brother. That's right. Thank you so much, Mr. Newberry. I appreciate you and I appreciate um, your words. Yes, he bought one of our originals from one of our shows. Some folks are not sleeping. They see what's happening, y'all. I want you to keep in touch, keep watching the shows. We're going to be putting more original works on in the near future. Hey, Thank you so much, Mr. Miss Laura Benson. I want to see you in this medium coming up real soon. I think you'd be perfect for it. Hey, Wanda Leggins, thank you so much for hanging with us because Lord knows Wanda Leggins got work going all the way through the house. Hey, Miss Creola Swift Macklin, thank you so much. I appreciate the kind words. Tell a friend. Hey, Jacqueline Brown, my sister, my baby sister. I know she hate hearing baby sister, but thank you all for tuning in. Until next time, y'all. We will have another whole new menu when you see me again. Hey, breathe easy, y'all, because the world is doing some crazy things. But guess what? I think we're going to beat him with the positivity. So until next time, I love you much, and I will see you next Wednesday.